welcome to this tutorial. This one is a, a CSS tutorial, not a PHP tutorial. Okay, first off you want to make a file called style.css, just like I have, right there. Okay, you can either do this in Notepad or, or Dreamweaver, whichever you prefer. Now, we're just going to start off with basic functions. Um, body, which is your main thing of a website. It's what's the content is held in. So start off with body and then an opening Cirelli bracket like that. Then what I like to do to make it a bit more organized, just do an enter and a tab. Okay. Now to change the background color, you do background hyphen color colon space or you don't need a space but and then just um, define a color or a hex. So if you want it black, you could easily just type in black. Or you could type in number sign one, two, three, four, five, six zeros. If you want to go shorthand on that, you could do three zeros. And let's end it with a semicolon like that. <coughs> Enter and then tab. And then, since the background color is black, the default font color is going to be white. I mean, black. So, we're going to change that. We're going to go font. Right. Just color. So, that will define the whole color of the body. The text. Now, we're going to change this to, let's just do white. You either do white, like that, or number sign. One, two, three, four, five, six F's or three F's for shorthand. Okay. Now the the default browser font family is Arial, which is pretty annoying sometimes. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna change the font family by easily going font family colon space and then we'll do Verdana and comma Tahoma in case people do not have the Verdana thing. So once you have that defined, you could easily just change the, the font family. You could also do your custom fonts, but um, it's a little more complicated than I'm going to show you now. Now the font size default is 12 point. So we're going to change that to, let's go 10 point. So font size, font hyphen size colon space. Now you can define it in points like that, or pixels like that. So just do that, and then let's change it to ten, as we said. And we're gonna do point, okay? And then we're gonna end that there, and then we're gonna end the whole body part. So we're gonna do an ending swirly bracket, okay? Okay, so once you have um, ended the body part, we're going to go on to the next step. We're going to um, change, change input and selects that are inside a form. So, we'll do input first, and we'll separate from, from the selects later on. So, input is obviously I-N-P-U-T. Then put a space in a swirly bracket opening. Enter, tap. Okay? And then... First, we're going to add a border. We're going to do, we're going to keep this the less shorthand. So we're going to do border color, border hyphen color, colon, space. And now we'll just, we'll make it red. So red, which is that. Or if you prefer hex, it's two Fs and four zeros. There is no shorthand for that. Okay, then we're going to do the border width. This you want to define in pixels. So we'll do, we'll just keep it one pixel right now, okay? And then we'll do a border style, like how you want it to look. Like you could have it dashed, you could have it dotted, you could have it whatever you prefer. I mean, there's at least 12 different types of styles you can include in there, okay?
So we're gonna go now. We're, we're just gonna do a normal one, solid, which is the default for most of them. Okay. And then we're gonna we're gonna define a background color. So like we did in body, like this right here. <coughs> just you would copy and paste that code if you're really lazy. And just copy paste. And you wanna change that to a different color, like I'm gonna do pink. We'll change it to pink, a hot pink, which is FF0099 in hex. Or you can do magenta. Okay, so we're gonna make the background color a uh, hot pink. We're gonna keep it with hex for now, like this. And then, right now, the font color is still black. So we're gonna have to change that. So we do what we did in the body with the color there. We're gonna we're actually gonna keep it black, so just so we know it's still there. Okay, shorthand for black is three zeros and a number sign. And the font family, which is not gonna take it from here. You have to redefine it. Verdana to Homa. And font size. To make it more unique, we're gonna do eight point. Which is two points smaller than ten point, obviously. Okay. And now um that that that's fine. So put a tab and end it, like so. Okay, now we want to make selects look different, I guess. Yeah. So select, which is normally a drop down or or a selected list you could choose from. So select like that. Space open curly bracket. Enter tab. And we're gonna do this whole thing again. So. You basically copy and paste it if you really wanted to. But for the border style, we're going to change it to a dashed. So you can notify it's different than the others. The border color will change that to white. Okay? And background color will change to a different color and make it more unique. We'll make it orange. So that's FF9900. Or just orange, whichever you prefer. Now the color of the text will make it red. So that's two F's and four zeros, like so. And then we're gonna keep this the same. So just copy and paste that in. And then end this really bracket like that. Okay, that's all I'm gonna show you for now, okay? And now we're gonna make a whole new file. And we're gonna save this right now. Save. I'm gonna call it index.php, like so. Okay? So, now, normally, you start off with that head. That'll be your big components, like the title and what you're going to include the style in, okay? So title, we're going to call this Style Sheets, okay? And now to include a style sheet directly from the file onto your website without actually copying and pasting this whole code, you easily do this. Link rel for relation and um, equals. Okay, so link rel equals. And we're going to put style sheet because that's, you know what to pull from it. And then type. We'll keep it a normal text slash CSS. That means it includes text and it is a CSS file. And then her ref, which is the referring URL. We're going to put style.css, like so. Okay, then end the, the head tag. Do not end the HTML tag, because that'll stop everything. And start a body tag, like so. Like that. Okay. And now we have included the style sheet already. So for now, I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Oh, my ZAMP's not running. Let me turn that on quickly. Okay, I started ZAMP and I opened up my web browser. So now we're going to show you what the page currently looks like. Okay, now I've gone to localhost slash TUTS for tutorials. And as you can see, the style sheet is included as we coded it. I just added this while you guys weren't looking. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go up to here and we're gonna just type something. So we're gonna go 
Hello world. Thank you, Jordan, for letting me use that. I'm gonna come up here and refresh. See, it's gonna show a 10 point for Dana White font. So you see that there? Hello world. Okay. Then we'll go back here. And we're gonna. We're not gonna actually make a form. So we're just gonna do a, b a couple breaks. And we'll do an input type equals text. And then value equals text in this box. Okay? We'll save it. Go to style sheets. Okay? See the border on this, what we did, is red. It looks pretty bad, if you ask me. So we're gonna make it black. We refresh, and really there's no border right now. So you wanna make it something so it's visible. White, how about that? White will do. You'll see it on there. Okay, as you can see, there's there's like no space between the wording and the end of the box. So we're gonna go back to the the style.css and do padding left. This will push all the text how many pixels you want to the left. So we'll, we'll just do two pixels for now. File, save, refresh the page. See how the the, the text moved but there's no space there there's no space there you can see the little yellow stuff there white st pink stuff <coughs> okay see you've created that correctly then go back to your index we'll put a couple breaks there and select okay and then option value equals hello I'll just do option because we're not actually defining anything. Option. This will just be a blank one. And then option. And we'll do hello. And select. End it like that. File. Save. Refresh. Okay, you can see that the dashed white border around the orange background. See? And now you got the red text. It. it Oh, my bad. <laughs> okay. See, now if you continue adding more and more options, then, like I just did, save it and refresh, it'll come up. They're all going to be the same. Okay. Now, if you want to define a certain part, you just do this. We'll call this dot class B. So we're gonna call that dot class B, and it'll be um, a class of the whole thing. So we'll we're gonna copy everything we see in here and paste it. End it. Border color. We'll make the border this time red, and we're gonna make it dotted. And the background color for this will be one, two, three, and the color will be a white. We'll save it. You're gonna notice nothing changes. See it's still the same. So now if we went here and did class equals class B like so. We'll do that for every other one. Like that. Save it. And we're gonna start on the top there. Just so you don't see anything different. And now you can see how there's different borders on them like that. You see that? Hello. But it's going to stay the same like that because the default is this. Yep. But you can see them on the drop down like that. So just basically do that. Okay. Well, um, that concludes my cascading style sheets tutorial for today. And... And, well, if you liked this tutorial and you thought it was helpful, and you like my other videos, you could always hit that orange button next to the PHP logo that says subscribe. And that means you will get all my videos directly as soon as I upload them. And if you thought this video was quite helpful in any of your terms, then you can always rate this video by clicking any 
one of the red stars below this video. Um, you could find the actual source code of the style and the index on my website by clicking the link right next to the word director in the gray radii box. Well, um, I hope you enjoy this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.